Here, we'll go through the steps necessary to find the pH of a weak base with a given concentration. We're asked to find the pH of a 0.35 molar solution of the salt sodium nitrite, NaNO2. A general approach to finding the pH of a salt solution is outlined here. We start by dissociating the salt into its individual ions and discarding any spectator ions. Next, we look at the remaining ion or ions and identify them as acids or bases and as strong or weak. We use location on the acid table for this. If the ion acts as a weak acid or base, we write its equilibrium equation for hydrolysis, the ion's reaction with water. If it's a weak acid, we use an ice table and its Ka expression to calculate the hydronium ion concentration. And if it's a weak base, we use an ice table and its Kb expression to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration. Finally, we convert hydronium or hydroxide concentration to pH. Because NaNO2 is a salt, we'll start by dissociating it into its individual ions, which are Na plus and NO2 minus. Na plus is an alkali metal cation, so it's a neutral spectator, and we can discard it. In order to determine what NO2 minus acts as, we look for it on the acid table. It's at this location on the right side of the table so it's a weak base. Because NO2- is a weak base, we will need to find the value of its Kb. Remember the formula we can use for Kb of NO2- is Kb is equal to Kw over the Ka of its conjugate acid. Looking at the table, we see that the conjugate acid of NO2- is HNO2. So the Kb of NO2- minus is Kw over the Ka of HNO2. The Ka for HNO2 is shown on the table here, and it's 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4th. Now we can substitute. We know that Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and the Ka of HNO2 is 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4th. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 4.6 times 10 to the negative 4th comes out to 2.17 times 10 to the negative 11th. Even though the Ka we used had only two significant figures, we'll express the Kb to three significant figures and round to two significant figures in the final answer. So we'll make a note up here that the Kb of NO2- minus is 2.17 times 10 to the negative 11th. Because NO2- minus is a weak base, we can write its hydrolysis equilibrium equation. Hydrolysis means we add it to water. Because it's a base, it will accept a proton from water, forming HNO2 and OH-. Minus. On the way to finding pH, we can start by finding the hydroxide ion concentration. Because NO2- minus is a weak base, we do this using an ice table. So we draw an ice table underneath this equilibrium equation. Water is a liquid, so we don't include it in our calculations. We'll color the column below water blue. Now we'll fill in what we can in the initial concentration row. The initial concentration of NO2- minus is the same as the initial concentration of NaNO2, and it's equal to 0.35 molar, so we'll write 0.35 in here. Before hydrolysis occurs, we can say that the concentrations of HNO2 and OH- are both zero. Now we'll fill in the change in concentration role. Because the concentrations of the products are zero, in order to compensate, the reaction will move to the right. So the concentrations of HNO2 and OH- will both increase. We're not given any values at equilibrium, and these both have a coefficient of 1 in the equation. So we'll state that these both increase by x. Because the reaction is moving to the right, the concentration of the reactant, NO2- minus, will decrease. So we'll write a minus sign here. Like the HNO2 and the OH-, minus, the coefficient on NO2- minus is 1. So we can say that the concentration of NO2- minus goes down by x. 
Now we can fill in the equilibrium concentration role. We start with the OH minus. It will be 0 plus x, which is equal to x. Similarly, the equilibrium concentration of HNO2 will be 0 plus x, which is equal to x. Now we'll look at the NO2 minus. It started out as 0.35 molar, and it went down by x. So its equilibrium concentration is 0.35 minus x. So now we have the equilibrium concentrations of all the species. Notice that the equilibrium concentration of OH minus is x. We'll make a note of that up here. At this point, we need to solve for the value of x. We start by using the hydrolysis equilibrium equation to write the Kb expression for NO2 minus, which is the concentration of HNO2 times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of NO2 minus. Remember, because we're dealing with the hydrolysis of a weak base, the expression is called Kb rather than Ka. Now we'll insert equilibrium concentrations into the Kb expression in order to solve for x. The concentration of HNO2 and OH- are both equal to x. So their product in the Kb expression is x times x, or x squared. And the equilibrium concentration of NO2- is 0.35 minus x. So we'll substitute that in here for the concentration of NO2 minus. In order to avoid a quadratic equation, we assume that 0.35 minus x is almost equal to 0.35. We know this assumption is valid because the Kb of NO2 minus is very small. That means the amount it decreases by will be very small compared to its initial concentration. Using this assumption, we take the x out of the denominator and we get that Kb is approximately equal to x squared divided by 0.35. Rearranging this equation gives us x squared equals 0.35 times Kb. Taking the square root of both sides gives us x equals the square root of 0.35 times Kb. Remember from our ice table that x is equal to the concentration of hydroxide at equilibrium. So we can say that the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to x, which is equal to the square root of 0.35 Kb. Or more simply, OH- concentration is equal to the square root of 0.35 Kb. Now we'll substitute 2.17 times 10 to the negative 11th in for the value of Kb in the equation. 0.35 times 2.17 times 10 to the negative 11th is equal to 7.595 times 10 to the negative 12th. Taking the square root of 7.595 times 10 to the negative 12th gives us 2.76 times 10 to the negative 6th. Because we now have a value for the concentration of hydroxide, we add the unit m for molarity. POH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, which is the negative log of 2.76 times 10 to the negative 6. And that comes out to 5.559. We'll stick with three significant figures here and round off to two in the last step. The pH of a solution is 14 minus the POH, which in this case is 14 minus 5.559 which comes out to 8.441. Both the given concentration of 0.35 molar and the Ka for HNO2 we used from the acid table have two significant figures. So we'll round our final pH to two significant figures, or two decimal places. So it's 8.44. So now we have a final answer for the question. The pH of a 0.35 molar solution of NaNO2 is 8.44. This is reasonable because NO2- is a weak base, so we would expect its pH to be above 7, but not really high because the Kb value is quite low at 2.17 times 10 to the negative 11th.